Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's video. Bit of an interesting one, bit of a surprise. You wrote from the title, I Am Legend sequel with Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan. Will Smith coming back as a producer, but also starring in it. All right. Don't hate it. I really liked I Am Legend. I Am Legend is a fantastic film. Really good, sad, but good all round. Um, a bit of a dying breed of a film, actually, to be honest. We seldom get you know incredibly good films. Uh, and that was one which was genuinely uh, a very, very good film. So this is a bit of a surprise. This comes to us uh, courtesy of Deadline. So I've got the article. Let's dive into it and take a look. Uh, also, side note, ladies and gents. Just uh, released today as well uh, an unboxing video. Obviously, you guys asked me to set up a PO box. I had one in my old address. We're in a brand new place right now, but I've set up a brand new one. It's in the description box. If you want to shoot anything over, please do. It will be down below in the description box from now on. But like I said, let's take a look at this, shall we? So I Am Legend, next chapter. Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan to star and produce together for the first time. Akiva Goldsman back to write. So a lot of the same people are on board. Um, but then obviously the newcomer to the property, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, it, uh, it Just a genuine surprise. It kind of came out of nowhere. This is a movie which realistically, like, it doesn't need a sequel. Could you do one? And explore it and see if it was any, you know, make it good. You definitely could make this good. It's not crying out for a sequel, though. This was a good one and done film. So this has to be right to make it worthwhile. Um, yeah. Do you think they'll be able to pull it off? Thoughts down below. So the exclusive to Deadline. Warner Brothers is upping the stakes on its I Am Legend franchise. All right, to stratospheric level. It's not a franchise. So for its next chapter, the studio is bringing back not only original star Will Smith, but also Black Panther actor Michael B. Jordan in what will rep the duo's first big movie uh, together as stars and producers. Okay, it, sure. Does it matter that they're coming on board as stars and producers together? Does it really matter? Uh, talk about two big stars aligning. Smith and Jordan's movies combined have grossed a massive 12.3 billion worldwide. I don't, you know, they're good actors. Like Michael B. Jordan's good, right? You know, he, uh, the 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 sort of properties that he's been. I'm going to say stuff which is probably controversial. FYI, that's why I'm sort of stuttering a little bit. Some of the bigger properties he's been in has been the Creed franchise, which wasn't even his because it was part of Rocky. I know. And then, of course, Black Panther as well. Um, Michael B. Jordan's a good actor. I don't know how much of a draw he is. I don't think he's not a draw, but I don't know how much of a draw he actually is, if that makes sense. You know, I don't see a Michael B. Jordan film and, well, advertise and go, I've got to see that film. You know, I... I don't feel like that about any actor in this day and age. It's normally the director that pulls me in these days. I think the long gone, in most people's eyes, correct me if you think otherwise, long gone are the days of star power. Normally it's actually director power. You're like, oh, that's an interesting director. He does good choices. What's he doing now? Not, well, this actor's in this film, I'm, I, therefore I must see it. Normally, it's a case of, well, does the film look decent? Does it have a good director? I'll have a look. You know? Like, I could be wrong. I might be in my, you know, just me there thinking that. But yeah, sure, Will Smith. Again, Will Smith's not a massive draw these days. He, he was. Not so much anymore. Uh, plot details, of course, have been kept under wraps. Uh, Oscar winner Akiva Goldsman, who adapted the Richard Matheson's 1954 novel for the original 2007 movie, is also returning to pen the follow-up and produce as well. That's good. Like, that is good. Because if if the original person who, obviously, you know, is just the writer, just adapting it, if he's on board to go, look, let, 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 let's have a crack at this. He wrote the first one. He may be on board, uh, you know, at the end of that, you know, when he penned the first script. He may have had uh, a sequel in mind. He may have had that in mind. So it'll be interesting to see how that comes together. Um, 
Who's Michael B. Jordan going to play? Who knows? Uh, is Will Smith going to be seen as a flashback uh, rather than present day? Did he survive? Did he not? It wouldn't make too much sense if he survived. That would be a bit confusing if he did. It seemed it seemed his fate was pretty solidified at that point at the end. Uh, but he doesn't look exactly like he did before. So it would be very difficult to get him on board as someone who's just doing flashbacks. So I don't know where they're going to go with that. Uh, all these deals are closed, uh, but no director is attached to the project uh, because it's still being developed. Francis Lawrence directed the original I Am Legend. So th this is all clear-cut done. Michael B. Jordan is on board, Will Smith is on board, and Akiva Goldsman is on board. That is all done. It's happening. Um, make no mistake, that's set in stone now. Now, Jordan and Elizabeth Raposo are producing via their Outlaw Society. Banner Smith and Westbrook Studios co-president, head of motion picture John Moan, will produce the project with Ryan uh, Shimazaki overseeing on behalf of Westbrook Studios. James Lassiter will serve as EP. Goldsman and Greg Lessons will also produce via Weed Road Pictures. I Am Legend, starring Smith in a nearly deserted post-apocalyptic New York City amid zombie zombies open to 77.2 million um, in an early December stateside in 2007. That's big money for 2007. Uh, and it hit over 500 million worldwide. Big money for 2007. Big, big money. Uh, especially for, I mean, just a tiny little horror movie. Uh, the big news for Smith comes in the wake of being Oscar nominated for Best Actor and Best Picture for King Richard, as well as landing Best Actor wins at the SAG Awards. Um, you know, the film racked up a total of six Oscar nominations. Uh, and Out Outlier Society also is in development with Warner Brothers on Static Shock, a live-action adaptation of DC Comics. I really like Static Shock, actually. I'd be really keen to see that. That was always uh, fun. Um, and it was actually a pretty decent cartoon as well. <laughs> Uh, other film projects on Outlier Society's upcoming slates include Amazon Studios' adaptation of the novel You Made a Fool of Death Until Your Beauty um, by Okweki uh, Emetsi uh, and MGM's The Thomas Crown Affair. Oh, oh they're redoing the, the Thomas Crown Affair, are they? Ooh, interesting. Didn't realise that was in development. So they're choosing some interesting stuff. Um, really interesting stuff, actually. Uh, this looks like it'll be equally interesting yeah very interesting so will smith obviously you know took to uh, instagram to share this uh received over half a million likes and it was just an image uh, a screen from the film so he gave a heads up uh, on the project soon after the deadline posted this particular report so yeah i mean he's obviously sort of basking in it a little bit as well well you know smith yeah he may have done king richard and things like that he's not done anything majorly mainstream for a little while which isn't bad fyi like i'm not saying that's bad but this is probably his return to i guess more mainstream stuff because he's he has fallen a little bit from mainstream stuff not bad hopefully hone his craft as an actor a little bit more and i thought it was great in the first one so let me know what you think um i don't think this needs to happen this really is dependent on the story. This better be good. Otherwise, this is just one in a long list of absolute shite that Warner Brothers has produced recently from things that didn't need sequels. Matrix Regurgitations, may I add? Didn't need a sequel. Garbage film. Trash. Hopefully, this isn't Matrix Regurgitations um, and, uh, and actually serves a purpose. But let me know what you think down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Again, PO box in the description box. Uh, along with uh, other links to support. You know, we've got memberships and Patreon on the channel. Thanks so much, though, guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Take care.